Welcome back. In today's video tutorial, I am going to discuss layer masks. We've talked about vector masks in the past, and today we're going to talk about layer masks. And the difference is that a vector mask is based on a path, and a layer mask is basically based on pixels. So you paint with black or white on a layer mask, and a vector mask is based on a path. All right. So we're going to use this path and we're going to turn it into a selection by command clicking on the name, control clicking on a PC. We have our marching ants and there's a couple ways we can make a layer mask. This first mask we're going to go down to the very bottom of the path panel and you'll say see here that it says add layer mask so we'll click and Photoshop adds a layer mask black areas will be hidden they're not deleted they're just hidden and white areas will be revealing the object all right so we're going to go ahead and delete this mask and I'll show you another way of doing it. So I'm going to click on my mask and then I'll just come down here and click on my trash can and we'll say we're going to delete it. I'll go back up and I will command click on the path, control click on a PC to load the selection, marching ants. And this time I'm going to go over to my layers panel and we have the same little icon down at the very bottom as we did in our path panel and I will click on it and once again we've added a layer mask. Black is going to hide, not delete and I'll show you that in a second and white is going to reveal. If you ever want to turn this layer mask off, we can do that by holding down the shift key and clicking on that layer mask. And now you can see we didn't delete anything. All we did was hide that background by painting in with black. And I will shift click to go ahead and show that mask. All right, that's the second way of doing it. We'll get rid of this mask. Another way of getting rid of a mask is to right click on it and say delete the layer mask. I'm going to go back over. I'm going to command click, control click on a PC to load my selection. And then I will go up under layer and I'll pull down to layer mask. And I'm going to say reveal selection. We have a couple of options here. We can either reveal the selection, which would be the blocks in this case, or we could hide the selection, meaning that we would get rid of the blocks and the tub and keep the background. In this case, I want to reveal the selection. I want to see the tub and the blocks, so we will click on Reveal Selection. And once again, we get the same layer mask. And we can edit this layer mask. If we wanted to add or hide more information, I can make selections in here. And if I fill with, uh, fill with black, I can hide more information. And any selection tool will work in this situation. So I can cut holes. And now we'll see over here that our mask, here's my holes that I cut and my squares that I cut. And all I did was to show this mask was option click on my layer mask. So I'm hiding more information, and if I want to get that information back, I can go over here to my layer mask and fill it with white. Very simple. And 
if we don't want to get rid of it, we can get rid of our mask by how? Yes, that's right. I heard someone say we can right click on the layer mask and say delete, or we can just drag that down to the trash can and say delete. Very good. Thank you for watching and I will see you later.